Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first episode of the Telltale Rum Club here on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and joined by today, Alex. Hello. So, Telltale Rum Club is something Alex and I started a few months almost ago, yeah. where we play Telltale games and drink liquor while we're doing so. It, uh, Telltale games are, you know, Wolf Among Us, they did Life is Strange, they did The Walking Dead, which is what we're playing today. Batman, Batman just came out, like Alex said. And, uh... These games, there's not much, like, action as much as there is making choices. And they're perfect for drinking and letting those choices kind of sink in and hit you. So, I've actually played through episode one of this, so I know a little bit about what's going on. But Alex hadn't, so if we're not talking much, it's because we're playing this game. So, welcome guys, this is the first episode. And uh, hopefully it doesn't reverb too much. On the mic. They can hear the game, right? Yeah, they can. Oh, um... Why? I forgot where we go. So, uh, the way this works is... Alex makes the choices, I rule the controller, and... We kind of hopefully stumble our way through this game together. Most of the time, Alex forgets that we're playing a game, and he has to read the screen. Silence. Oh, we can look around. I can't reach in there and touch that. You're from Mark Greenland? Yeah. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. Oh. 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 I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Got over six years. You meet your wife in Athens? She dead. You want to know how I see it? Sure. Or she married the wrong guy. So, it didn't let us say that. <laughs> yeah, there goes that. Hello, doctor. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Talks a lot more than and most before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. I'm telling him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to lap him otherwise. So he stops. Having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mom. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. <laughs> so it's crazy. So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up like the boys came to the <laughs> <laughs> He's in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't his. If he actually believed in himself. So it was crazy. It goes to show. So it sounds like. Go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more. Oh, hit him. Hit him. There we go. Hit him. Yeah. We didn't say anything. <laughs> 
said something, probably would have stopped. Good. So while this is set in the Walking Dead universe, it's kind of more closely set to the now being aired, uh, what's it called? What's that before one? Uh, Fear the Walking Dead, where it's like it. the start of the zombie apocalypse, not already in the heat of it. Is that actually a prequel to Walking Dead? Mm-hmm. So. Except uh, Walking Dead takes place on... I don't know, east and west. Uh, <laughs> east is California, right? That's west. Okay, so <laughs> Fear the Walking Dead takes place on the west coast, whereas Walking Dead takes place on the east, east coast. Yeah. So it's not the same characters at all, mm -mm. but the same concept. Yeah, a lot of people think it's going to lead to like a crossover at some point. But That'd be cool. I love that. Come on. Can we move? No. So if we'd have said something, you think we would have ended up at this exact same point? Yeah. Because I think I said something. Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? He gone. I'm still tough back here. Officer. That doesn't look good. <laughs> he wasn't ejected from the car. Okay. So. Oh, here we go. Fun controversial point. Should people be handcuffed, or should criminals be handcuffed in the back of police vehicles? Should, should things like this happen? Yeah. Here we go. Rollovers, fires, rear end, attacks. Good. Policia. Most of the Telltale games, you know, uh, this one, Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us, Back to the Future, have that kind of comic booky, graphic novel y looking art style that I really like. Jurassic Park, however, does not. I know that much. But more like a real footage? Yeah. It'll be easier to carry with these cups on. Alright, so let's go get the keys, right? Uh, yeah. Officer! God damn. <laughs> afraid of. I know, I'm like... Did he move, or did he see something, like... No. Did he miss something? I feel like it's more like that was the part where they kind of transferred the player's knowledge of what's happening into into the game character's knowledge. Grab the guns. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm trying to do that. Well, that's convenient. Uh, grab. One single shell. And then the gun was this way. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Childish. <laughs> I wonder if you're meaner to him in the car, if he says something like a little bit more meaner than don't make me do this. Yeah. Like if he's like not happy about it, but like you know. Rude. And yeah, vengeful about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, can we? Is that a person in the background right there? Can we get up? Oh shit! Go get someone! <laughs> Yeah. I've played this before. I didn't even remember. We would have just sat there forever. Uh -oh. I'm gonna grab the shotgun. And try this to guy's get garbage. Yeah, he he change players or something. <laughs> He's like tripping over everything. I 
Like, I feel like it's trying to build suspense. It's just not doing it. And it's just making me mad that he keeps tripping on stuff. Like the air. <laughs> That wouldn't have been a bad time to try and do the button thing to get over the fence. Mm-hmm. Or have somebody grab his leg and kick him off. Yeah, like, we had to grab that shotgun shell twice, but <laughs> hopping over a fence, no, nah, that's cool. No, we should. This is why we encourage everybody to build privacy fences to hinder the zombies in the apocalypse. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Cheating you alright over there? Yeah. <laughs> so Alex and I are drinking uh, Pinnacle Caramel Apple Vodka tonight. And uh, I mixed mine with the rest of my coffee that I've been drinking from like an hour ago. <laughs> Which sounds gross. <laughs> Which was not the smart, not a smart way to go. This is such a weird shot. Why did it pan so much? Oh, okay. Show you there's a swimming pool. In The Walking Hello? Dead, did the zombies in there? climb ladders? Could they do that? I don't think it's come up. Like, I know they can climb up stuff, but I don't think ladders, like, specifically. I feel like an obstacle course kind of, like, ladder up to a tree fort would be the best way mm -hmm. to escape them, at least until they learn how to, like, climb on top of each other. Like they do in World War Z, they do that, they just make a huge pile. Did you see they're making a sequel to that? Why? <laughs> Gosh, that's terrible. I hated that movie. I guess a lot of fans of the book got mad because it kind of strayed. I really liked the original. I like originality when it comes into Hello. movies. And there's never before been a zombie game or a zombie movie where they focus on where it came from mm -hmm. and try to track it back. Uh, which this one did. I just thought it was poorly oh, executed. Shoot, okay. A good storyline, good plot, just not a great execution. 28 Days Later showed you, like, where they were coming from. I never saw them. Isn't that a Sandra Bullock movie? No, that's 28 Days. 28 Days. Like the exact same. <laughs> exact and on that note, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Fucking 28 Days. Special thank you to Alex for coming in. I'll see you later, guys. <laughs> so, guys, as always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and we will see you on the next episode of Telltale Run Club. Later days, guys.